Hello everyone, Scott here with another story time. Today's story is Terrific Trains by Tony Mitten and Aunt Parker. Big trains, small trains, old trains, and new. Rattling and whistling. Choo, choo, choo. Starting from the station with a whistle and a hiss. Steam trains huffing and puffing like this. Whoosh! Diesel trains rushing as they rattle down the line, warning us they're coming with a long, low whine. Metal wheels whirl as they whiz along the track. They shimmer and they swish with a slick click-clack. Coaches are coupled in a neat long chain. An engine pulls the coaches, and that makes a train. If a train meets a river, or a valley, or a ridge, the coaches rumble over on a big, strong bridge. If a train meets a mountain, it doesn't have to stop. It travels through a tunnel, and your ears go pop. When too many trains try to share the same track, the signals and the switches have to hold some back. When the rail meets a road, there's a crossing with a gate. The train rushes through while the traffic has to wait. Trains travel any time, even very late. This train's delivering a big load of freight. This train's for passengers. It's ready at the station. All aboard and wave goodbye. We're going on vacation. Train parts. Rails. These are metal strips that form a pathway called a track or a railroad line. Some trains get their power from an electric rail. Whistle. This makes a noise to warn everyone that the train is coming. Signal. This tells engineers when to stop and go. Freight car. This is for carrying goods, called freight. Coach. This is for carrying people, called passengers. And switches. These are the short rails that move to let a train switch from one track to another. The end. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's pop on over to Ronnie for an amazing craft. Hi everyone, this is Ronnie again here at the Colorado Railroad Museum and very excited to show you a new craft that we're doing today. Um, it goes with our book, Terrific Trains. So take a look. All right, then I'm gonna show you one more thing. We're gonna take it apart. So we are going to make a train puzzle. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. This one we did with white crayon, but you could also use chalk, and that's what I'm gonna to use today. All right, I'm gonna start moving this out. So as I said earlier, there you can use a white crayon or maybe neon crayons or markers, but just make sure that you can see it on a dark piece of paper. So we're going to need one piece of black paper or cardstock, multicolored chalk, scissors. And pretty much that's it. And then I'm going to take my little train picture that I got the other day online. So it kind of reminds me of all the things that you need to draw a train. Mostly shapes. So first of all, here's our paper. And you can use any colors you want because this is your train. You can do whatever you'd like. Okay. So I think I'm going to use yellow. And we're going to make a rectangle. A 
And then we're going to put the top right here. Maybe we'll use blue for the steam to come out. Maybe we'll put some steam coming out. Chalk is easy to work with, so it's kind of fun to do that. And then, oh, we need the cow pusher. Can put some lines on there. We need our tender. And then maybe we need another oh. maybe a box car and maybe whew, this little piece of paper is not as far as I wasn't gonna get me as far as I wanted a little tiny caboose we'll put a little tiny caboose on there don't forget the cupola up there and then we'll connect them Also, we need to put our wheels on, and I think I'm going to use blue. So we need to make a big wheel here, and two little ones here. You can color them in. You can make them different colors if you like. But I'm going to make mine all the same color. And since it looks like we're traveling at nighttime, I'm going to put some stars in the sky in a minute. Boop. These tiny little wheels are going to be going to be a bumpy ride on that little caboose back there. Maybe you want some stars in the sky or a, or a moon. And sometimes it's kind of, it's easier if you're going to make this into a puzzle to put lots of different colors in there so it makes it easier to match things up and find when you're making the puzzle together. If you want to make it harder, maybe you make more of the same colors, then it gets really hard. We did one of the puzzles we, we have at the museum and it took me a little bit of time to do that. <laughs> okay, so here's our picture. It looks like it's all done. And then you're gonna take the scissors and you're gonna just cut different kinds of shapes out of it. So sometimes maybe you wanna do a little wavy. There's one. How about if we just, just do this? You can make it as many pieces you like or as little as you like. You can make curves or you can make them straight. Maybe you cut them at an angle. And then you can have your brothers and sisters try to do it and then they can't do it because they don't know the puzzle but you could put it together really fast. Okay, so there's our puzzle, all cut it. Now we're gonna start putting it together. Yep, there we go. See, I'm already forgetting. Okay, remember, sometimes it's nice with the train because you're like, oh, there's the train, the front part of it. We need our tender. Oh, there it goes. Here's the other part of the stars in the sky. And there's the back part of our train. And now you've been able to put your, make a puzzle and then put it back together. 
I hope you have fun with this craft. I know I have, and I hope to see you again next year in 2022. So you have a wonderful holiday, and we look forward to seeing you at the Colorado Railroad Museum. Thank you. Bye. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Commenting and sharing in particular may qualify as virtual engagements for important funding programs like the SCFD.